early in the morning and it's so dark. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's actually um, seven o'clock almost. And I thought I vlogged something earlier today, but it turns out I just thought about vlogging something and I actually didn't do it. I am a terrible person to myself because I got less than three hours of sleep last night when I had, I started later and I had all the opportunity in the world to sleep, but I just stayed up watching Netflix and playing Candy Crush and all that kind of stuff. So I was stupid. <sighs> I don't know why I make these dumb decisions. So I've been kind of out of it ever since I got out of work. I don't want to give too many details, but I've been talking to someone online and I'm just having one of those like intense feelings that I'm being catfished, but like I'm not really sure what to watch out for because the person I'm talking to seems like a legit person. I don't know, it's really hard to explain it and I don't really want to explain it right now, but I will update you guys if it turns out some freak is talking to me using somebody else's photos and identity and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to try to uh, uncover things and at the same time not give away too much info about myself. Basically catfished, if you don't know what it means, it means like somebody is just, you know, talking to you and can get really close to you, but they're using someone else's photos or they're completely putting on like a different they're not at all who they say they are kind of thing. I don't know, I enjoy the conversations I have with this person, so I don't know, I don't wanna just like not talk to them because I'm worried. Uh, uh. I'm making SpaghettiOs, actually they're spaghetti ring pasta <laughs> with tomato and cheese sauce. Is it, does it normally have cheese? I don't know. Yeah, all I know is it was right next to the SpaghettiOs and it was like 10 cents cheaper, so I bought it. And it smells like nothing ever smelled in the world, but it just makes me think of being a kid because I, I mean, I don't, I don't think my mom ever bought these for me, but I remember having them at my friend's house, a friend I had when I was about seven to ten. So when I was very young, I had them, and so it's just kind of the smell reminds me of that. I don't know. I just got one can because I've been kind of curious to try them again lately. So that's what I'm having for dinner because I'm healthy. I also painted my nails black because it's October and I can do that. Normally I paint them like a dark, dark, dark maroon that looks black, but I'm like, no, it's not black. It's, it's totally not just black, black, but this is black, black because who cares? An update about that one thing that I was saying that I might be catfished. I have confirmed it. Unfortunately, I was hoping that it wasn't true because the person seemed nice and they seemed like a cool person. So I was like enjoying talking with them. Yeah, so what started it all is like I got a message from this person on a website and I like used Google image search, the one kind where you can actually take the image itself and search using an image to find that image other places on the internet and it led to these other profiles. The information about this person seemed to mostly match up. Their location, a lot of their personality, a lot of the words they would use, a lot of that kind of stuff seemed to match up. Um, things they liked seemed to match up. But at the same time, there were some things that seemed a little fishy. Now, I didn't want to tell this person that I found these other profiles. I kind of wanted to just be like, you know, hey, I wanted to see if it was legit just by asking questions that would kind of link things up. And I asked, what kind of tattoos do you have? Because you can tell in those pictures she had tattoos. But um, on the other website, you can see all the tattoos. And they responded with, you know, a couple of them, which were right, and roses. I looked, there was not, there were, there were lilies, no roses. If you have a tattoo of flowers, I'm pretty sure you'd know what type they were. So there's hint number one. Secondly, I was asking about... Like, are you on any other websites, like Twitter or anything like that? And I was like, no, I just have email. Okay. Yet I knew there was an Instagram and a Vine. And it was clearly them. I mean, you can't fake a Vine video. There, there's no way to fake a Vine video. And also the Instagram photos. Like, I sent them a message and I was like, okay, I commented on your Instagram. If it's you, you can just simply reply to my comment. The response I got was, that Instagram is a fake. That is not me. Um, <laughs> how, 
how would you fake an Instagram? Especially when you have no, apparently no presence anywhere else on the internet uh, where you would, where this person would find these photos for Instagram. So that right there was my answer that I needed. Very straight up clear that it was fake. I mean, it sucks because talking to this person, I mean, we exchanged a lot of long messages. They seemed like a real person. They seemed like a legit, seemed to match up in a lot of ways. Um, but one of the most annoying things is that I even talked about that movie called The Woman Who Wasn't There that I told you guys about, about the woman who uh, lied about her life basically saying she was in the World Trade Centers during 9-11, she had a fiance who died there and all this kind of stuff. You know what the response was? I need to watch that because I just can't understand the mind of someone who would lie like that about who they are and it was just like, who? if it's one of you guys that did this to me, you're an asshole by the way. Now I just want to know like if, if there's a way to figure out who the fuck this is. If they're even from where they say they're from. You want to backtrace it? I'm going to backtrace it. I'm going to call the internet police and I'm going to figure this shit out. I don't know who it was, what they were trying to get out of me, but that is... Nudes probably. Anyway, I'm going to finish up my night being angry. I have to edit yesterday's video still. <laughs> angry and then i'm gonna go to bed angry and hopefully tomorrow i have a better day Shh. because i'm angry Stop. <laughs>